stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What is it, crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. I had to find the key to the garage. I needed the garage key to get to the car. is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts to grow. It spreads through the whole. Characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is
The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? You delivered a man and a woman back. Listen, shit. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me? Yes, yes, I, I get you. Barry had talked about birds over the phone.
open the door now. They're gone. I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. Had to try to write him one to get out. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Are you and Mr. Wake? I live in the trailer park. Be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the old dear diner. Good girl. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer! You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good. How did she get her hand back? She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Brake, FBI. He's... Hey, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban ashed of this. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zing. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island.
Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crash. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. This here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want? Welcome to... We're just here to talk to... to her, pal. Oh dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. A manuscript. I understand. I know what you need. Fire you. She doesn't have. Uh, how? What? Oh. Barry! What? It's coming, fighting in my bar. I just turned the. I put you, lovely one. Must you stop? I am. You must turn the lights on. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being Rose took it less than to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not on the beds. Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face! Stay right where you are, Slane! What are you? I'm the guy! 
goddamn maniac! I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster.
source here. Uh, Gates, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. Why, they were...